Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions for DevOps AWS. Positions in financial institutions and banking companies, along with detailed and informative answers. 1. How do you ensure security and compliance? In a DevOps AWS environment for financial institutions. Considering regulatory requirements. Answer. Security and compliance in a DevOps AWS environment for financial institutions. Involve implementing AWS security best practices, encryption, access controls, and regular audits. AWS services like AWS Artifact and AWS Config Assist in Compliance Assessments. 2. Explain the significance of AWS Key Management Service KMs in encrypting sensitive data for financial applications in a DevOps pipeline. Answer. AWS KMs is crucial for encrypting sensitive data in financial applications. It allows the creation and management of encryption keys, ensuring data confidentiality. Integrating KMs with AWS services provides a secure mechanism for managing encryption keys. 3. How do you implement secure and auditable access control in AWS for financial applications? And what is the role of AWS? Identity and Access Management, EM? Answer. Secure access control in AWS involves using EM to manage user access and permissions. In financial applications, EM ensures the principle of least privilege enabling fine-grained control over resources and supporting auditability through detailed access logs. 4. Explain the role of AWS CloudTrail in logging and monitoring AWS API activity for financial applications and how it contributes to forensic investigations. Answer. AWS CloudTrail logs API activity in financial applications, providing a detailed history of actions taken within AWS accounts. In forensic investigations, CloudTrail logs assist in understanding changes, identifying potential security issues, and ensuring compliance. 5. How can AWS Config be utilized to assess, audit, and evaluate the configuration changes of AWS resources in a DevOps pipeline for financial institutions. Answer. AWS Config enables the assessment and auditing of AWS resource configurations. In a DevOps pipeline for financial institutions, Config records changes, allows rule evaluations, and provides a continuous assessment of resource configurations to maintain compliance and governance. 6. Explain how you would design a resilient architecture in AWS. For financial applications, considering high availability and disaster recovery. Answer. Designing a resilient architecture involves leveraging AWS services like multi-AS deployments, elastic load balancing, and AWS RDs multi-AS for high availability. Disaster recovery strategies may include cross-region replication and automated backups to ensure business continuity. 7. How can AWS Lambda be used in financial institutions for serverless computing? And what benefits does it offer in terms of scalability and cost optimization? Answer. AWS Lambda in financial institutions enables serverless computing allowing for event-driven architectures and automatic scaling. It offers cost optimization by charging only for actual code execution time, making it efficient for sporadic or bursty workloads. 8. Explain the use of AWS Codepipeline in a financial institution's DevOps pipeline for automating and orchestrating continuous integration and continuous delivery CI-CD. Answer, AWS Codepipeline automates the CI or CD process in financial institutions, allowing the creation of automated workflows for building, testing, and deploying applications. It integrates with other AWS DevOps tools, ensuring a seamless and consistent software delivery pipeline. 9. How can AWS CloudFormation be utilized to manage infrastructure as code EAC? 
in financial applications, and what are the key benefits of using CloudFormation? Answer. AWS CloudFormation manages EAC and financial applications, enabling the definition and provisioning of infrastructure through code. Benefits include consistency, repeatability, version control, and the ability to automate the deployment and update of AWS resources. 10. Explain the concept of AWS Elastic Beanstalk and how it simplifies the deployment and management of financial applications in a DevOps environment. Answer. AWS Elastic Beanstalk simplifies the deployment and management of financial applications by abstracting infrastructure details. It automates capacity provisioning, load balancing, and application health monitoring, allowing teams to focus on code development. 11. How can AWS Step Functions be used to orchestrate microservices in a financial institution's architecture? And what advantages does it provide in terms of workflow coordination? Answer. AWS Step Functions orchestrate microservices in financial institutions, allowing the coordination of distributed workflows. It provides advantages such as visualizing and managing complex workflows, error handling, and supporting integrations with AWS services. 12. Explain the role of AWS S3 versioning in ensuring data integrity and enabling point-in-time recovery for financial data storage. Answer. AWS S3 versioning ensures data integrity and enables point-in-time recovery by maintaining multiple versions of an object in a bucket. In financial data storage, versioning provides protection against accidental deletion or modification of data. 13. How can AWS Elastic Container Service ECS be used for container orchestration in financial applications? And what advantages does ECS offer over self-managed solutions? Answer. AWS ECS orchestrates containers in financial applications providing advantages such as seamless integration with other AWS services, simplified management, and efficient resource utilization. ECS reduces the operational overhead associated with self-managed container orchestration solutions. 14. Explain the use of AWS Code Comet in managing version control for financial applications and how it ensures security and collaboration in a DevOps environment. Answer. AWS Code Comet manages version control for financial applications, providing secure and scalable Git-based repositories. It ensures security through encryption and EM integration, supporting collaboration through branch management and integrations with CI or CD pipelines. 15. How can AWS CloudWatch be utilized for monitoring and alerting in a financial institution's AWS environment? And what types of metrics are crucial for financial applications? Answer. AWS CloudWatch monitors financial applications by collecting and visualizing metrics such as transaction rates, latency, and error rates. It provides alerting based on predefined thresholds, ensuring proactive issue detection and resolution. 16. Explain the role of AWS AppConfig in managing configurations for financial applications and how it supports controlled and dynamic changes without code deployments. Answer. AWS AppConfig manages configurations for financial applications, allowing controlled and dynamic changes without code deployments. It supports feature toggles, a or B testing, and gradual rollouts, ensuring flexibility and rapid response to changing business requirements. 17. How do you implement blue-green deployments in AWS for financial applications? And what benefits does this deployment strategy offer in terms of minimizing downtime and risk? Answer. Blue-green deployments in AWS involve having two identical environments allowing for seamless testing and rollback. This strategy minimizes downtime and risk by enabling the switch between environments without affecting users, ensuring a smooth deployment process. 
18. Explain the use of AWS organizations in managing multiple AWS accounts for financial institutions, and how it contributes to centralized governance and compliance. Answer. AWS organizations manages multiple AWS accounts for financial institutions, providing a hierarchical structure for centralized governance. It enables the application of policies, ensuring compliance, and facilitating resource sharing and access management across accounts. 19. How can AWS Transit Gateway be utilized to simplify network architecture and connectivity for financial institutions with multiple VPCs? Answer, AWS Transit Gateway simplifies network architecture for financial institutions. By acting as a hub for connecting multiple VPCs and on-premises networks, it streamlines network connectivity, reducing the complexity of VPN connections and ensuring efficient communication. 20. Explain the use of AWS Service Catalog in managing approved services and resources for financial applications and how it contributes to governance and compliance. Answer. AWS Service Catalog manages approved services and resources for financial applications, ensuring governance and compliance. It provides a controlled environment for teams to provision pre-approved AWS resources, reducing the risk of unauthorized or non-compliant deployments. 21. How can AWS Systems Manager automation be utilized in a financial institution's AWS environment? for automating operational tasks and compliance checks. Answer, AWS Systems Manager Automation automates operational tasks in financial institutions, allowing the execution of predefined workflows and compliance checks. It ensures consistency, reduces manual intervention, and facilitates the enforcement of security policies. 22. Explain the use of AWS Direct Connect in a financial institution's architecture for establishing dedicated network connections between on-premises data centers and AWS. Answer. AWS Direct Connect provides dedicated network connections between on-premises data centers and AWS and financial institutions. It ensures secure, high-performance, and consistent network connectivity. Supporting data transfer and communication between on-premises and AWS resources. 23. How do you implement automated backup and recovery strategies for databases in financial applications using AWS RDs? And what considerations are important for ensuring data durability? Answer. Automated backup and recovery for databases involve. Using AWS RDs features like automated backups, snapshots, and multi-AS deployments. Data durability is ensured by maintaining multiple copies of data in different availability zones, providing high availability and fault tolerance. 24. Explain the concept of AWS CloudZoom and how it can be used to manage cryptographic keys securely in financial applications. Answer. AWS CloudZoom manages cryptographic keys securely in financial applications by providing dedicated hardware security modules. It ensures the security and integrity of key management, supporting compliance with regulatory requirements for sensitive data protection. 25. How can AWS WAF Web Application Firewall be used in financial institutions to protect web applications from common security threats, and what features does it offer for mitigating risks? Answer. AWS WAF protects web applications and financial institutions from common security threats by allowing the creation of rules and conditions to filter and monitor HTTP traffic. It offers features like rate limit, IP blacklisting, and protection against skull injection and cross-site scripting. 26. Explain the use of AWS Cognito in a financial institution's architecture for managing user identities and authentication in applications, ensuring security and compliance. Answer. 
AWS Cognito manages user identities and authentication in financial applications, providing a secure and scalable solution. It supports multi-factor authentication, user pools, and identity federation, ensuring compliance with security standards and regulations. 27. How can AWS Lambda at Edge be utilized to extend serverless computing to the Edge locations for financial applications? And what benefits does it offer in terms of performance optimization? Answer, AWS Lambda at Edge extends serverless computing to the Edge locations in financial applications, allowing the execution of functions closer to end users. It offers benefits such as reduced latency, improved performance, and the ability to customize content delivery based on user locations. 28. Explain the role of AWS Glue in a financial institution's data pipeline for ETL extract, transform load processes, and how it simplifies data integration and transformation. Answer AWS Glue simplifies ETL processes in a financial institution's data pipeline by automating data integration and transformation. It discovers, catalogs, and transforms data, providing a managed service for building scalable and efficient data processing workflows. 29. How can AWS Step Functions be used to implement automated workflows for financial applications? Ensuring coordination between different microservices and AWS services. Answer. AWS Step Functions can be used to implement automated workflows for financial applications. Coordinating the execution of different microservices and AWS services. It provides a visual representation of workflows and ensures the orderly execution of tasks. 30. Explain the use of AWS resource groups in organizing and managing AWS resources. Based on tags for financial institutions and how it contributes to resource governance. Answer. AWS Resource Groups organizes and manages AWS resources based on tags and financial institutions, providing a centralized view of resources. It contributes to resource governance by enabling the application of policies, ensuring compliance, and simplifying resource discovery across environments. These detailed answers cover various aspects of DevOps in the context of AWS within the specific setting of financial institutions and banking companies. Candidates should be prepared to discuss their experiences. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.